Filament quality can make or break your print. Damp filament will always destroy the quality of your print. Now, damp filament will cause stringing, blobs, zits, poor layer adhesion that resembles under extruding. I'll see it online all the time. Makers saying their printer was working great for the past few weeks and now it's looking really bad. The art and chair engineers will always chime in with adjust your flow rate, calibrate your E-steps, and so on, when most times it's just damp filament. In this video, we're going to look how to keep your filament dry and getting better quality prints as we test out Creality's Space Pie Filament Dryer. This video is sponsored by PCB Way. PCB Way has unlocked color PCB printing with UV printing. This technology can present images in various colors and styles to meet your personal requirements. Look to PCBWay.com for unmatched precision and quality. Visit them today at PCBWay.com. The good people at 3duncle.com sent me this Creality Space Pie filament dryer to test and review. If you're not familiar with 3duncle.com, check them out. Their goal is to be the best online sales platform for 3D printers with affordable and reliable products, exceptional service, and passionate technical support. I have a link posted in the description. Give it a click. Let's open this up and take a look at what's in the box. In the box, we find the Space Pie Filament Dryer Unit itself, the power cord, a piece of PTFE tubing, and the instruction manual with super small print. The Creality Space Pie Filament Dryer boasts a sleek and functional design that complements any 3D printing setup. Its compact size makes it easy to place near your printer without taking up much space. The build quality is robust with a durable plastic casing that feels solid and reliable. The transparent lid allows you to monitor the filament without opening the dryer, which is a convenient feature. The curve of the lid helps circulate the air evenly over your filament, ensuring drying. I've, I've heard that there is no way for the dampness to escape the unit, but this one has a small opening on the center of the lid that moisture can escape through. Maybe this is a newer model. Another convenient feature is the ability to print directly from the dryer itself by inserting the supplied PTFE tubing and feeding the filament up here through the opening and running it directly into your printer. Now if you prefer to use the dryer as a standalone unit, you can just close the hole with the attached plug. To power up the unit, press the red switch on the rear. This will display the power button on the front control panel. Simply press that and the unit comes to life. Now I like the way the display builds from the bottom up when powered on and closes from the top down when it's powered off. The digital display and intuitive controls make it easy to set the temperature and timer. The interface is straightforward, ensuring that even beginners can use the device effectively. The dryer offers precise temperature control, allowing you to set the optimal drying temperature for different types of filaments. This ensures that the filament dries evenly without degrading the material. The buttons on the, on the display seem a little touchy to me. Now, the built-in timer can be adjusted to run for different durations depending on the moisture content and the type of filament. This flexibility ensures that your filament is in the best possible condition before printing. The dryer can accommodate one spool of filament, but Creality has recently released the Space Pie Plus, and that will hold two spools of filament simultaneously, which is useful for users who work with multiple colors. The spacious interior design is meant to fit most standard spool sizes. Now, the Creality Space Pie filament dryer is designed also to evenly distribute the heat, ensuring that the filament dries uniformly. This reduces the risk of printing issues caused by moisture, such as like stringing, clogging, zits, poor layer adhesion. Let's test this dryer out and see what it can do. Now, it's been raining quite a bit in this part of the country for the past few weeks. Today is no exception. Alexa, what's the current humidity? The humidity is 92%. Perfect. 
I'm going to take this low cost PLA that I bought from freemover.net. I get it for about $10.29 it's full when I buy 10 at a time. Hashtag not sponsored, just saying. But hey, let's talk. I use a lot of this for prototyping and general printing. I'm going to set this spool outside for a while in the rain and the humidity. And we'll run it through the Creality Space Pi at the recommended settings for PLA for a few hours. I'll run a print and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, 22 hours outside. Let's run this through the dryer for a bit and see what it does. For a test print, I'm going to use this Coliseum I downloaded from STL Flix. All of these little openings should provide an area for a lot of stringing if the filament is still damp. And these outer walls, they should show us blobs and zits if our material is still wet. I'll also be looking for layer separation on all these tall vertical walls. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna print this on the K1 Max, I'm using uh, my textured PEI sheet. Make a few changes here. I do not want to brim. Go with three loops. Um, my all loops. I'm going to go to three. I go with five top layers, five bottom. Uh, my infill, I'm going to take this down to, yeah, let's go with 10. I don't think it should need a whole lot of infill. Let's slice and see how long this will take us. Just under eight hours by a few seconds. Uh, we'll see how this does for us. Hmm. This looks really good. I'm impressed. No stringing. The outer walls are smooth, smooth as they should be. No zits or blobs. The layers are nice and uniform. Overall, I really like what I'm seeing, especially for filament that sat outside overnight in the elements at 92% humidity. I would say the Creality Space Pie did its job. Now. Looking at the pros and cons of this unit, on the pro side, easy to use interface with digital controls. It significantly improved print quality by drying the filament. The adjustable temperature and timer settings for different filament types. It operates quietly for, and is suitable for various environments. Over to the cons, at $69, it's slightly higher cost compared to some other basic filament dryers, though it is justified by the features. Now, while it's compact, it still requires space near your printer, which might be a consideration for users with limited workspace, especially when the lid is fully open. But overall, I like the quality of the, the design and durability of this dryer. The Creality Space Pi filament dryer is an excellent investment for any 3D printing enthusiast looking to improve their print quality by ensuring their filament remains dry and in optimal condition. Its combination of precise temperature control and adjustable timer makes it a standout product in the filament dryer market. Although it comes in at a higher price point, its features and performance justify the investment. If you are serious about achieving the best possible results with your 3D prints, the Creality Space Pipe Filament Dryer is highly recommended addition to your setup. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, hit that like button and let me know down in the comments. Smash that bell so you'll be alerted to new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing.